It's a murder for money scam. I've always had a closer relationship with my father than with my mother. And uh, I don't really know why that's always been, but it was just the case. The dynamics in the family were always kind of odd in that if there was anything I, could, I needed, anyone I could talk to, literally anything at all, it doesn't, didn't matter if it was a positive or a negative, it was my father that I could go to. And everything seemed smooth. There didn't seem to be any abnormalities or whatsoever until I received a phone call, and I think it was a Friday, October 11th, 2013. And it was my dad calling me uh, because he was in great distress. The morning of November the 28th, I got a call from nurses that had arrived at my father's house because he was comatose. And he had uh, bruises, he was uh, quite bruised up, bloody. Uh, it looked like something violent had happened in his bedroom. He was in a very weird mood. He, t he kept telling me he felt stupefied that the, he was being uh, fed this white powder again. He was being forced to take this white powder and uh, that they were rolling him backwards when he wasn't opening his mouth and they were pulling his head back so he would open his mouth to take this powder, this white powder. And he uh, told me they were trying to kill him. I found pill bottles in the back room, filled with pills. I'm like, so I put them in my jacket pocket and I showed Kevin that night. I'm like, what are these pills? The illusions were made, reporting limits were raised. That's how they came up with a report of no detection to contradict our toxicology from France. So all we want is proper testing. But now, since October, we know it's never going to be possible because there's no body there.